All right, this one is for all of the gamers out there. I'm going to show you how to install Steam on Gentoo Linux. Now, if you've tried to install Steam before watching this video or looking up any type of guide on how to do it, you may have noticed that the Steam package is not actually available in the normal Gentoo repository. Here, I have the output of an emerge search for the keyword Steam, and you can see that it's not here. The full package name is Games Util Steam Launcher. So I can search for that full keyword because, you know, maybe I spelled it wrong. It's not too unusual for me to spell a command wrong when I'm recording a video. But you can see, indeed, that the Steam Launcher doesn't exist. It does not show up in the normal Gen 2 repository. And this is because we need to install it from an overlay, just like we did with our modified LibreSSL packages, except this time we only have the option of emerging from the overlay. So we don't actually have to go and do the e-build part. Once we have the overlay, we could just go ahead and start emerging. So, Let's do that with Layman. Um, let's actually start with a capital L just to see a list of the available overlays. And we can see it right here. So this is the Steam overlay and it has a yellow star next to it, which means that it's not an officially supported overlay. So be warned, this could cause some bugs. Uh, this overlay hasn't been thoroughly sussed out by the Gen 2 team, but I haven't had any problems with it so far on my system. So let's go ahead and add it with Layman A Steam Overlay. And it's gonna give you a warning too that it's not official. Just hit yes to continue installing. All right, and once you have that done, we can go ahead and emerge Steam. Now there's actually two separate packages that we want to emerge here. We want to do games util steam launcher and games util steam meta. Now this application probably won't just start building for you like mine is. When I first went through the process of doing this, there were a lot of files that I had to update in Etsy Portage. Um, lots and lots of use changes, some license changes I had to do as well. So here they are. I'm going to put this in the description as well because it's quite a bit, especially to my package.use. Uh, so you'll probably want to copy and paste this or just run auto unmask right option with your emerge command so that the strings that you have will just manually be added and then you can put them into your package.use. Um, that's a good idea in case you start pulling in different versions of packages. I mean, that could easily happen if you're not running the same kernel as me or you're not running the same versions of the dependencies that Steam needs to build as me. But yeah, you can see that um, this file here, x11 no root, this is basically my package.use file. Uh, this had the most changes needed. So um, here, lines 41 and above was everything that I had to it before. You know, you can see where it says here, everything below this point was required to build Steam. It's just a note that I put in there for myself. And uh, yeah, we had to add, what's that, 110 lines to package.use to get Steam to build. And then if we go to package.accept keywords. Not too much was required here, just, uh, what's this, five lines or six lines rather. Yeah, there were a few things that were required for the meta as well. Um, all of these AMD 64s. So like this is what I'm talking about. These you might not need if you're on a earlier kernel. I'm on not the latest kernel, but pretty much the latest. I think I'm maybe like a 0 .01 or something like that behind. Um, and then package dot license as well. This one usually doesn't need to be updated very often. Let me show you where that's at. 
you're not used to updating it. Oh, make this bigger so that the phone folks can see. Uh, yeah, so there you go, package.license. That had to be updated as well, so I had to add these strings here, or rather just this one string here to package.license so that it would be accepted. Oh wow, and the emerge actually finished. I thought it was going to take longer than that that I'd have to pause the video before showing you guys that it worked. So let's just go ahead and start up Steam. Oh no, now everybody knows my account name. All right, so uh, let's do, uh, let's see, am I able to start Steam without signing in? No, okay, let me actually sign in real quick so I can show you guys it works. All right, so here I am with Steam open, and you can also see that it works with a window manager as well. Uh, it doesn't work quite as smoothly as it probably would with a full-on desktop environment because, like, you can see it's, it's a little bit wacky the way that it does my uh, window manager. You kind of have to move it over a bit in order to get access to the scroll bar, but once you have this scroll bar, then it's effectively the same. Uh, so yeah, there you go. This is how you install Steam. Um, there's also the Proton, uh, what's it called? It's not the Proton Overlay. Uh, I forget what type of package it is, but there's Proton, which basically allows you to play a lot of Windows games inside of Linux as well. I believe I made a video on how to do Proton on Linux Mint, so you could probably follow that as well to do it on Gentoo. I don't think that there would be too many differences. Um, I guess we'll see. I'm not really doing any real gaming on Gentoo right now until I install this into hardware, because as you guys know, I'm in VirtualBox with this Gentoo machine and gaming within a virtual machine at least on my hardware, would not be a good time. So I'm gonna have to actually deploy this to a, to bare metal uh, before I can really go in and see if there's any type of weirdness going on with particular games. Uh, or if you guys are installing Gen 2 to hardware, you could do that yourself. You know, you could get ahead, get ahead of me and sort of forge ahead, see what type of challenges there are. And that'll definitely make my life easier when I go to deploy this to hardware. But anyway, you guys know how to install Steam now, just follow those steps. Uh, like I said, I'll include all of this good stuff in the description. Um, it might be a little weird, because I know like this symbol here, YouTube doesn't really like it, so I might have to modify it a bit. Um, but again, if my uh, strings and my use files don't actually work for you, just do an auto on mask right or an auto on mask continue so that you can get the exact versions that you need. Hope you found it helpful. Bye now.